so hard for me to get up in the mornings it's like it's probably the hardest thing in my entire life like I can deal with a lot of things but getting up in the morning is the hardest I'm gonna get ready in uh, a Laura Croft style because I'm not feeling very badass or strong today and I feel like you gotta take the power you know I don't know, let's do this. I'm gonna do this to the best of my ability. I obviously don't have her entire outfit. I'm gonna mix and match to make it look Laura Croft-esque. This is a type of style that you could wear just day to day. I like to do things like that. Except I am gonna put on a wig. And then I'm gonna go to Griffith Park. So I'm gonna go into my messy messy closet and try and find something that she would wear. Okay, so I bought a shirt. It was on sale at Target. And I'm like, this looks like kind of like the shirt that she wears. So I'm just gonna grab it. It was like a dollar or something. Number one, we all know I'm gonna sweat all over it because Gray picks up sweat like none other. And I am, you guys know me by now hopefully maybe you don't if you're new here hey I'm Victoria I have a lot of issues but I'm not ashamed I'm quite ashamed but I will still tell you everything and I figured I would just go with these kind of these kind of shorts they look kind of like the ones that she would wear I don't have guns unfortunately it's one thing I forgot to get I have this leg pa pack thing which we'll just gonna, it's gonna have to work it's gonna be Laura Croft-esque and it's gonna be exactly I'm gonna use my tall boots for the shoes for this one I don't know I think that could probably work and then so the wig is from everyday wigs and if you guys want the link will be below I got a brown wig I'm gonna braid the hair okay let's go do it let's get ready Now the shoes. I'm gonna put on my, my big tall boots even though hers aren't that tall, but again, work with what we got. I think that works pretty well. Laura Croft is very beautiful, but I feel like she doesn't have time for lots of makeup. So really the only makeup I'm gonna put on is just like a little bit of eyelashes. You guys know the worst part of all this is putting on the wig. <laughs> okay, now I just need to like braid it. Okay, so this is the final Lara Croft look. Um, like always, my dreadlocks don't fit under the wig, but we did our best, and I actually really like this wig. So now we're gonna go do an adventure because you can't be Lara Croft without adventuring. Uh, but so I'm gonna drink some coffee first. Just light in my morning incense. <laughs> I was like, oh, her coffee's here. She's coming out here. <laughs> She's just waiting there. Yes. Vegan Greek yogurt. And then I put some chocolate chips in it because I'm PMS again. I want it, okay? Alright, we are here 
at Griffith Park. I have to pee. Get out of here. Ow, fuck, I just closed my arm in the door, that hurt. All right, we out here. The whole reason for this video is that I need to find a way to make money and- It's because you like dressing up. Shh. It's because you like dressing up. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to start raiding ancient ruins to find artifacts to sell on eBay. I thought that would be maybe a good job for myself because you guys know I can't do the nine to five. So I'm going to, I found some, I found some ruins back here and I'm gonna try and find some artifacts right now to sell on eBay. It might be dangerous, it might be hard. I don't know what I'm gonna find yet, but. And those ancient ruins next to those hipsters over there. <laughs> yes, those ancient ruins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on guys, let's go. Oh, Mr. Humphrey, glad to join me. Today we're looking for the Brisk Horn statue. I know it's around these ancient ruins. I just don't know where. I've heard a lot of stories about it. It's worth so much money. I could sell it on eBay for a lot, but there's a lot of bad people who want the statue that could use it for evil. We can't let that happen. Will you help me? Okay, let's go. Mr. Humphrey, be careful. Come on. You don't have to come up with me. Here we are. It's Foo's Vader. I've heard about this only in stories. It's actually here. There's some flues down there. I sense trouble. Humphrey, we we'll have to run. Hurry! It's a close one. It's a lot of bad people trying to kill us right now. So wait, you just remember that you have keys. <laughs> yes, Mr. Humphrey, I have keys. Legend has it that the brisk antler statue is hiding behind bars. Only a very valuable set of keys can open it. Mr. Chamberlain already gave them to me. He sounds like a swell chap. Oh, he's right. I had a fucking thought, though. Oh shit. <laughs> Mr. Humphrey, I couldn't have done it without you. <sighs> Till next time. All right, I'm back now. That was a fun adventure. Thanks for coming with me and thanks for helping me with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me adventure thingy. Uh, make sure you subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you actually liked it and leave some comments below of other Get Ready With Me's you guys would like to see. I also have merch and channel memberships if you guys want to join in on that because I'm trying to save up to travel. Thank you so much for being with me. Stay extraterrestrial. I love you very much. Okay, bye.